What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin coming at you. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, this Pocket Duck Wednesday, it's going to be a little short one. Uh, reason being is because uh, a close friend of mine passed away this week and I've got to go to the funeral and uh, I've got to be there for visitation day, to, which is today, and then tomorrow Thursday we're having the funeral uh, he was in my car club he was super good dude but he had he was an older gentleman and he had lung cancer and it just but he I mean he acted like it didn't bother him at all he went and had breakfast Monday morning and uh, or uh, Sunday morning and wife found him Monday morning so it was one of those where he just went to sleep and didn't wake up which is good so we're all happy about that we hate it that he's missing but we we don't want him to be suffering and so he just kind of went to sleep and you know I think that's the way we all would like to go but uh, anyway I'm not trying to tell you all that for sympathies. I'm just explaining why I have a light EDC this week. And I'm also doing uh, a lot of homework. I picked up another class. So I'll be staying home this week and doing work around, uh, around my place and, and uh, doing homework. So my knife that I have for this week is my Hogue Deca. Uh, it's in CPM 20 CV. This is Warncliffe Blade. Um, this is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive with red, white, and blue G10 scales. Uh, thumb stud, axis style lock. I mean, smooth action. This is just a a kick-ass knife it really is um, you know Hogue is I'm, I'm pretty impressed with some of their knives um, and this was my first one that I've gotten from them probably won't be my last though but uh, you know it's left or right tip up only uh, which I like that because I pull it out and flip it open like that you normally most people do so but it's got pretty good jimping on the back handles comfortable the uh, the pocket clip isn't real pronounced so it doesn't dig into your hand this is just a really nice all-around knife uh, Yeah, it's a little, got a little pocket lint in it. I've been carrying it for quite often. But, yeah, this is one of my favorites. And it's lightweight and it's thin. So it won't, you know, snag on my suit with the pocket clip or be uh, harsh on my, my suit. My flashlight I'm carrying for my EDC this week is my Ace Beam Rider X. The Ace Beam Rider X. This is a nice little flashlight. Uh, you got two position pocket clip where you can clip it. You can actually clip this. This is what I found out it's for so it's where you can clip it on your ball cap on your on well on your hat and so you can convert it into a, a hands-free flashlight you know what I mean which that's pretty cool I like that but it's a bolt action focus focus so it's a bolt action and uh, telescopic 
It's got five light settings on it. Oop, let me lock it in place. And you just turn it on, turn it off, and the next level comes on. See, there's, there's low right there. So, and then turn it off and turn it back on. Next level comes on. Vice versa. So, pretty nice little flashlight. I got this in going gear. Uh, I'm happy with this because, like I say, it'll pull double duty. Uh, you can put it in your pocket or if you got to work on something, you can clip it onto your uh, hat and work. I mean, that's pretty neat clip design on that. So because I'm carrying minimal stuff this week, I'm going to carry my uh, axial pinch bar. It's got a bottle opener and a pry bar on it. It's titanium. Got a deep carry pocket clip. It's pretty thin. So I'll have a little extra something for my EDC if I need it. Um, and it won't take up much room in my pocket. Uh, and it won't ruin my suit because the the clip is nice. It's not real real harsh, but it's it's titanium as well. I'm pretty sure uh, I don't have a magnet out here to check it. But that's my EDC tool for this week. And then I'm going to carry my Rick Hinderer uh, pin. It's got a Fisher Space Pin insert for the for the filler. But I really like this ink pen. One of my friends gave it to me. Um, it's like two hundred dollars for this ink pen. I couldn't believe that, but. I figured I'd carry a bigger one since my suit pocket is pretty deep. I can I can get this one in my suit pocket and it it will carry well. But uh, this is my EDC for this week. What do y'all think? Do y'all like it? Is it is it okay uh, for my circumstances that I'm having to deal with this week? Uh, would you? pack something similar uh, in your EDC if you had to dress up in a suit uh, when you're and when I say that you have to understand I, I'm a shorts blue jean uh, casual wear type of person I don't dress up often uh, it's usually for an event or something like this that I dress up so uh, you know, I this is what I I see as a gentleman's carry. Uh, I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts? Do y'all think that's a gentleman's carry for a suit? Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I was feeling a little Fourth of July too. Also with the red, white, and blue. Actually. Uh, we're going to be in the 4th of July parade, my car club. Uh, Tony was supposed to be in it. He was going to ride with one of us, but uh, yeah, we're still going to do it because that's what he would want us to do. And uh, actually, he's right taking his final ride in his truck to the, to the grave site. So, I mean, this is going to be an awesome celebration of life uh, for this gentleman and we're going to do what he would have wanted us to do and that's to continue on and and he would want us to go to that parade and be in the parade because the city asked us to do it it wasn't just like uh, you know hey let's go get in the parade with our old cars and stuff the city actually approached us and wanted us to do it so uh, and Tony was all about that stuff and that's cool 
because we are too, you know, and we don't know any other way to how to honor him and celebrate him than to do what he would wanted us to do in the beginning. So, anyway, I've rattled on enough. Thank you all for listening to me. I hope you liked the video. And speaking of which, if you did, like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Really do. Y'all don't know. I'm almost at 300 subscribers now. And that's all because of you all. And everybody that stuck with me from the beginning. Uh, you know, we're starting to roll on now. This is getting to be pretty cool. I'm trying to come up with new stuff to do. and uh, You know, it's just kind of hard to do the YouTube and personal life and school and and trying to work and you know but hey I enjoy doing it I enjoy being here with you all and if you enjoy being here with me like I said hit that like button but anyway as always I hope your belly's full I hope your refrigerator's full and for the love of everything I hope your gas tank's full, and we'll see you next time.